What's up guys, Anthony here and welcome to the video. So I'm going to be putting this at the start of pretty much every video this week just to give you guys a little bit of insight of where I have been for the last three weeks. Uh, basically, I took a break. Uh, I had a lot of work coming up and it was just one of those things where I just needed a break because it was the streaming, the editing, everything, it was kind of crazy. And not only that, I wanted to bring more because I noticed on my channel, I haven't really evolved. I've kind of just that got to a level and then just stayed there. I was never constantly trying to improve uh, my channel, improve the quality and all that kind of jazz. So what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, uh, I took one week off. I literally didn't even turn my computer on. Um, in the last two weeks, I have been tinkering, learning, learning how to use Photoshop, learning how to use Premiere, how to use After Effects. Am I great at it? No, but it's definitely a work in progress, and I definitely want to add more quality to these videos, as well as better editing and everything like that, because in my previous video, they were very stock standard, pretty much drop it in, boom, boom, resize it to make sure it fits in the webcam thing, and that was about it. Maybe a little bit of color correction, but there wasn't a whole lot of editing involved. So I wanna be more proactive with the editing, uh, better edits, making the videos better, look better, sound better, uh, and just the overall quality of everything. Uh, for the video. So that's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. Just kind of learning, tinkering, and just kind of playing with the programs to see what I can do and what I can't do and stuff like that. But anyway guys, without any further ado, let's get into the chapter. What is up guys, Free No One and welcome to my live reaction and review for The Promised Neverland Chapter 169, The Perfect Scores. All right, guys. So, let me quickly do that. There we go. All right, so we're going to go straight into this chapter. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a few weeks since my last reaction to The Promised Neverland. I am 100% up to date. I know what's going on. We are currently at Grace Fields. Um, we have set things up. Uh, Emma, Ray... Norman are running Rampage. They're literally doing everything that Peter Rattari is not thinking of. Like, he's coming up with plans and they're doing the complete and polar opposite, which is kind of crazy. I'm really curious about what's going to go down today. But let's find out because I'm super excited. And I know I've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, at the beginning of this video, I would have explained why. Um, but yeah, so things are uh, just also to kind of emphasize on that uh, before we get into it um, there are still things that I am working on to bring into these uh, like little animations and all that kind of stuff uh, that I'm still working on so hopefully I can have them all up and running by next week and I can have a bit more of a sense of how I want things to go down uh, how I want these videos to be planned out but anyway guys without any further ado guys let's get into this chapter chapter 169 perfect scores we're starting with a really great color page with a young emma ray and norman with isabella all sleeping on the grass which looks incredible i do love the art here all right if there were no farms our families and friends would not have been killed to be served as food if it wasn't for you that abhorrent hunting ground wouldn't have existed. They're talking about Goldie Pond there. If it wasn't for your clan, this world wouldn't be this way. This world wouldn't be a place where we children are continually eaten by demons. So they're talking about the Ratri clan. Basically what happened is Minerva was the head of the Ratri clan. He decided, no, I don't like this. And he was trying to help all the kids escape, but Peter found out about this and was like, ah, no, 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 we're not going to do that, and ousted him, become the head of the clan to maintain everything, because obviously that's how he maintains his power. Okay. How many children have died because of you? 
How many have shed tears? How foolish. If there were no farms, if the Rateri clan wasn't around, you wouldn't have been born. I am your creator, your dad. I said, Peter Rati's like, yeah, it's because of me, you're alive. Like, pretty egotistic. Dad, so we've got Emma there. You can't be serious. My dad. No, our dad. Okay, who's that? That's a, oh no, that's the guy who originally came up with the promise. Okay. So we're watching this, we're watching again little flashbacks of everyone. Is definitely not you. So they're going in on him. So we got uh, uh, all the guys that we got from the Goldie Pond uh, are there. Okay, on your knees, Peter Rateriza. They surrounded him. <laughs> Woo! This is sick. All right, Peter. All right, so it looks like some of them have been captured. So we got uh, Don here. So, uh, Thank goodness, I'm not leaving this area, okay? So what's going on? Because last time we saw, they were doing the comm stuff, right? So it looks like they've been caught. Haito, can I rely on you to go and secure our escape route? If we end up not catching up to you, don't come back here. Go meet up with Oliver's group, okay? All right, so that's what he's been told. Haito's taken off. Hey there, Norman. Hey there, Norman. It's been a while. All right. So it looks like they've been captured. Guy's voice. Is it the Rattery clan? Yes, that is precisely the situation. It's like, what did all the different groups? What did all, did all the different groups get caught? Huh? What's going on? Crap. This is bad. What should I do? Well, it's obvious. And Haito is going, going in. He's like, what? It's like, bang, he's taking out a guard. I have to take care of this. Haito's going in. We've got Oliver there. It's like, we've got a gun. Bang. Thank goodness, Vincent. I thought you had died. I figured I wouldn't be killed immediately. If I died instantly, they wouldn't be able to do the Gupna ceremony. It was still reckless. Thanks. Thanks to you. Thank you. You sa thanks. You saved us, Hayato. We're good here. Okay. We've gained control here too. Oh, so Norm's got the guy and Ray's got the other guy pinned. My the beasts. Here. Norman and Ray are beasts, man. You had me seriously worried, Vincent. Here's what Norman said. He's like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. Alright, and Vincent's like, oh, shit. Alright. So we got guards, guards, demons. A lot of things have been killed. They got Peter Rattery there. He's not looking happy. Oh, they got him. They got him surrounded. It's like, and they're looking at him. They all got the guns pointing. You lose. No one's like, yeah, you lost, motherfucker. Like, we win. Peter, he's like, how stupid. What will you gain from killing me? Even if I lose. You still have no escape route and no chance of winning. No need to worry. Thank you very much. We disabled the system again. The only issue that remains is you. No one can come and save you. Okay? We will. No one can come and save me? All that's left is me? Let's see. I think you kids are forgetting something. Okay? Okay, who's that? So there's a, a woman raised like, huh? Ooh, it's the, it's the, like the mothers. Or the sisters. They're all there. And they all come out. They've come out of nowhere and they've got everyone lined up. What? The Oliver's, why are they? They were able to unlock the doors? This isn't good. Just when we thought we'd won. We got, oh, it's Isabella! It's Isabella! <laughs> Mum, Isabella's rocked up. She's taking. Was it fun outside, Emma? She's got Emma lined up. You've destroyed everything. You fought and fought and fought and fought. But no matter how much you resist, 
it still ends up this way. Despair is unavoidable. Ooh, all right. So you and everyone else returned. You didn't learn your lesson. And thus, and this is the result. Okay. All of you did splendidly. Oh, perfect scores for everyone. Oh, she's a new What? Huh? What? You betrayed me? It's about. Oh, you almost betrayed me, Rotary! Oh, this is sick! Holy shit! I did not see that! Perfect scores for everybody! And now she's aiming at Peter! Oh, man! Dude, this is sick! No fucking way! Isabella, who is now grandma, has betrayed Peter Rotary! This is nuts! And I love it! So we got like Hayata, Istin, Oliver, Don. Uh, Gilda and then Hydra's like, huh? What the fuck, man? Like, what's because all the sisters and that, like, all the mothers have now aimed at Peter. Dude, this is sick. This is crazy. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I'm, I'm, I have an insane idea, but we're gonna get to the breakdown, which is basically a review, and I'm gonna tell you what my idea is there. All right, so anyway, guys, let's head into the breakdown. Alright guys, welcome to the breakdown. And in the first part, I want to get straight into my theory. Alright, the theory is this. This is a theory that's going to be expanding over the entire series. Going back to the very, very start. What if the idea, the escape, everything was Isabel's idea? What if, like, hear me out, hear me out. Isabella, once they escaped, like, I, as, we've, as we've seen, the escape seemingly seems to be Norman, Ray, and Emma's idea. But, everything else. Isabella came up with a plan to go, alright, I'm going to become grandma, hence, I'm going to be in control of all the sisters, all the, all the mums, and everything, and I'm going to be playing along until they return because I got I got a feeling that Phil and Isabella have been working together to create this right to create the opportunity for them all to escape right because we know the one thing we do know that the sisters the mothers and obviously Isabella grandma are all former cattle children that will give an opportunity a chance to basically become a mother to become to basically start to live right same as with Norman right but hear me out what if she figured out that Phil Phil knew what was going on Phil knew that they were going to come back because Phil knows they're coming back okay that's we all know this Right? Because Phil's the only one that they told about everything. And we also know that Phil is a lot smarter than what, we're, what we've been led to believe as well. Could it be that Phil said to Isabel, look, they are planning to come back to get the rest of us because they feel there's a way for all of us to escape. And could have that been Isabella's hope? Going, all right, how can I help this and set up so that everything actually works? Right, and obviously the easiest way to get everything to be on their side was for Isabella to become grandma. Right, basically the top dog when it comes to the sisters and the mothers, she controls all of them. As we know, grandma was the boss, and the one who got because of the escape was grandma for not enforcing more security, and basically she started. She manipulated her way to get in to that position so then she could pull the old switcheroo and betray Peter Rathri to allow everybody to get out to escape. Crazy, right? Crazy theory. But going off this, potentially that could be the case. 
Could it also be the case that the rebellion, the rebels, right? The ones who, the Minerva group and everything, the ones who are on the side of Minerva were always the mothers. It was always Isabella and Isabella was part of that group and she infiltrated to get there and now she became the most one of the more powerful people there to use that power to and change things because if we look on this page yeah, we can see that they got the guns and everything uh, but you know I like how everything set up for this that was crazy But there's still one big question that we need to ask, okay? And that is, what was the promise that Emma made with the God? Or the demon God, right? What was the promise? Right, that was the question. But, if this is all to do with that, could it... You know, I still think the theory that Isabella learnt of the escape, learned that they were going to return one day to grab the rest once they knew how to get out and she manipulated the system to get herself into a position where she could help them. Obviously, like I said. But anyway, let's continue on. Let's get straight into the review. Let's start at the very start. Okay. I'm just rolling right back up to the start here. Okay. So, it start, the chapter starts off basically with a recap. Recapping the entire journey. Basically saying, basically blaming Peter, saying, look, if it wasn't for you, kids would not have been killed. If it wasn't for you, Goldie Pond would never have existed. If it wasn't for you, kids would not have been constantly eaten. How many kids have died? How many tears have been shed because of you, right? And he's saying, Peter and Arthur, he's going, how foolish. If it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for my clan, you would never have existed. He, he's basically claimed to be their dad, the one person who has kept them alive, which is kind of bullshit, right? And they're like, dad, you can't be serious. No, that's bullshit. Right? And then we can see everyone else kind of taking uh, down guards and stuff like that. And we're seeing the original, uh, we're seeing now one of our, one of the original guys, the original escapees that we, we met uh, early on. I don't quite remember his name, unfortunately. He, he did die. Uh, we're getting a little flat, a lot of flashbacks and stuff like this. And they're basically saying like guys like Oliver and that, you know, this was the guy who survived in Goldie Pond for years, right? They thought he was dead, but no, he was alive. And basically, Oliver and all them got trained up by this guy to hunt demons, to fight demons, and all that stuff. And he's like, "Yeah, you're not, you're not our dad." And that, that this is the point where they basically get Peter Arthuri. They say Vincent, because Vincent had been caught. Um, they basically re they released him and all that kind of stuff. A um, bit more going on to what's going on because Rattari managed to capture Vincent and everything and regain control of the system. So it, it's kind of crazy how that all plays out. But the big the crazy thing is Haito does come back with, I believe it's Oliver. Yeah, Haito comes back with Oliver. And basically rescues Vincent and everyone. And basically, yep, yeah, we're good. And they basically then regain the control of the system, of the security system and everything, which was a big part of their plan. Right? And we know this is a big part because Norman says, you had me seriously worried, Vincent. Okay? Then we get the interesting part. Okay? Then we see the room where Isabella and Peter Rattari were. And we see, uh, the I believe it's two guards there. A lot of demons, dead. Dead or tied up. But, and we've got dead demons, we've got Peter Arthur. And then we get the whole thing of, they're all there. Vincent is bleeding because he was injured. With, uh, we've got Oliver, I believe it's Haito and 
uh, Gilda, not Gilda, and a couple other characters stare, guns pointed at Peter Rattri, and Norman saying, you lose, we win. And Peter Rattri starts laughing, he goes, how stupid, what are you going to gain from killing me, right? Even if, even if you kill me, you can't escape. You're, you have no chance of getting out of here. And they're like, there's no need to worry. We disabled the system again. The only issue that remains is him, right? And then, like, and then she's like, Emma's like, we will. And he goes, no one can come and save you. All that's left is me. Let's see. I think you kids are forgetting something, right? They're forgetting one big thing. The sisters. We have not seen them yet. This is where we see our first sister with the gun. Ray realizes, like, oh shit. And then, before we know, bang. All the sisters have arrived. Guns pointed at everyone. And they're like, oh shit. We're fucked. We're boned. At this point, we're like, holy crap. We forgot about the one biggest thing. The one person who can outthink our three main characters. Isabella. The sisters. She's grandma. She's control of the sisters. Like, oh boy. The one who knows them best. Isabella. Alright. Like, what? what's going on? Oliver's still there. Pointing the gun. He's like, what? How are they unable to look? And then we have Isabella make her appearance. And we're like, holy shit. We forgot the probably the most dangerous person of the lot. Mum. Isabella, right? She rocks up. She boards the gun at Emma. Goes, was it fun outside, Emma? You've destroyed everything. You fought and fought and fought and fought, and we're seeing everything: the Goldie Pond, the fight with um, uh, the Duke. Um, we see um the, the whole thing with the uh the Queen, the promise. Is that, but no matter how much you is, it still ends up this way. Despair is unavoidable. You and everyone else return. You didn't learn your lesson. And this is the result. All of you did splendidly. Perfect scores for everyone. And that's when her and all the sisters turn their gun on Peter Rattori. Everyone's confused. And you can see even higher toes standing like, hey, hey, what, what, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, like what <laughs> he's even confused I love like everyone's still like Don, Gilda, Oliver are still very focused on Peter Hyde is the only one that's actually reacting it's like huh? like what what the hell man like I love the look I love the fact that it would have been awesome if Oliver and Don like, if Don and Gilda reacted as well because this would have been a surprise to them right because they obviously Isabella they know Isabella yeah. And then the surprise from Peter going, what? Emma going, what? You betrayed me, Isabella? The whole thing. And this is where my theory comes from, that Isabella has been in the loop the entire time. Right? Could it be? The other theory is, could it be that Norman reached out to her when he found, like, when he potentially heard that she was grandma? Because we don't know when this actually happened. This could have happened... A long time ago, the whole grandma, her becoming grandma, right? Could it be, could it be that no one found out that she's grandma, reached out to her and said, Hey, look, I'm the one behind all of this. I'm the one destroying everything. Maybe we can uh, come up with a little plan to really... Fuck him over. You seem to be in a quite a powerful position here. We know we can escape through Grace Field to the human world. Could it be that maybe Norman reached out to her and gave told her information after they received information from Emma about escaping through Grace Field? That there's a way out. You know, that's my thinking. But we're gonna have to wait till next week to find out. But anyway, guys. Overall, for this chapter, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. It was a phenomenal chapter. The art was very solid. Uh, I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for next week. The Promised Neverland, hands down, in my opinion, seeing it, I've been reading it from chapter one, 
is one of my all-time favorite series. The flips, the dips, the changes, everything. Everything just blows my mind within this series. It's just been a phenomenal series. We're definitely coming to the end of this, this incredible series. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. As always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. Smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It helps the channel grow, and that will be absolutely incredible. And as always, guys, I will see you guys next week with some more of The Promised Neverland. Peace.